with Maruto break the seal of the abyss and the abyss is now a map selection so what is its deal I'm back here and it's weird man so what's actually kind of weird is that there's no hyper mode for this map or at least I don't have it unlocked so it's kind of bizarre not having that there's actually so much I can get on the map right now I'll take hand of Labrador I am going with this guy I didn't actually make a video about him until now but he starts with the sword and I mentioned it'd be fun to limit break with him and now here I am do I want empty tome it's already going to show up on the map yeah but so is a tract orb and a spellbinder doesn't do anything I think I'll just grab empty tome because it's good so because I have this character and because that achievement exists maybe I gotta make it to the red crystal whatever and unlock it from there only after i assume leveling up this weapon which i can do get the excusable going uh, i'm gonna take a bit i'm on hyper mode so i don't have too much time but i imagine i'll have enough i'm actually gonna go hollow heart here i want to have it also i want my damage numbers back on i want to see my damage it makes me feel better it makes me feel like i'm progressing even though it, i mean i am I, I am progressing it's just you know technically not necessary it is kind of weird to see the random attack off in the distance from the sword. Am I, like, throwing my sword or something? Just huh, get all the way over there. It's also really curious how, like, every single enemy on this map will pause. It's like, do I want to attack you? Oh, yeah, I do. Do I swipe more often when I'm moving? I'm not sure, but I do want my combo finisher. Now I can go, wait for it, wait for Boo, <laughs> yeah. Now I can do that, and that's sick. I want to see more of those, especially with huge area. And I should really try to actually make it to this stuff, huh? Duplicator, hey, I missed you. It's been a while since I've seen you. I don't even know, want, know what the last one should be. I could go for Pomerola since I'm missing some HP. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Give me the damn HP. Everything else I want is already on the map, so I can just get it in due time. Speaking of, how about I start making it down there now, huh? I don't exactly remember how to navigate this map. It's still really weird. and The mini-map doesn't help me at all, which I think is what is messing with me the most. Okay, uh, that's as much Empty Tome as I want to get. Next time I see Empty Tome, I'll take something else because I want the last one for free. We'll get Excusable up to level 8. And now let's go like Hollow Heart. Little duplicator. Awesome. Right. Just destroying that Elite. Maybe just showed up. I don't know. Ooh, I could get Empty Tome from a chest though. Would hate to see that being the case. Anyways, this is the way I go. It is. Uh, you know what was interesting though? So I was looking at the unlocks. So there was get the seal with this character there was also unlock a different seal in a different area with eleanor which is the very first dlc character that i did in the second dlc episode so i'm wondering if i will unlock a new area after getting this gem crystal thing unlocked and then i'll have to go back there with the uh, eleanor i don't know it's just it seems like that's what would happen it seems really interesting if so it's just nested hidden errors uh, areas how deep can the rabbit hole go now actually looking at the mini map i noticed something interesting the question mark actually shows up and i guess actually the guides are pretty darn helpful just just to help me get an idea of where to go because I, I see i i've messed up at least a little bit when it comes to uh, getting to some important stuff like i mean i've made the crown i'm probably not too far from other important stuff but i gotta go get armor which is way up I assume I have to do that before making it to the gem, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time chasing down upgrades. Which, I mean, I guess is fine, right? It keeps me busy. Almost took too much damage to the things that were guarding the chest. Hate to see it. Keep going on, crowd. That's probably the most important thing. I'll take this, too. Academy badge. Don't want to upgrade it, because I need my growth. Good. Spinach. That's fine. Just avoid empty tome. Avoid badge. Yeah, more spinach. Awesome. We'll take crown. Awesome. Now I can more quickly get to everything I need. Oh, and actually, then I guess I'm forced to take Empty Tome and Academy Badge, huh? Uh, well, maybe I should then really hurry to get some other stuff. Because the question is, how do I get there? I don't know. You know what? Screw it. I'll take the Empty Tome. I, I may never get there on the map. It it's just, at this point, I'm kind of giving up on it. Screw efficiency. Okay, armor. Good. I can focus on the armor now. I also want to get Torona's box. Which is quite a bit of ways to the left, huh? I'll take that. I might also take Curse. Just because, you know, bring on the challenge. Whatever, I can handle it. It gives me more enemies, which gets me more XP. So it's overall positive, I think. Should be due for a purple chest soon. Oh yeah, there it is. Ah, shit, it's the elite. Actually, it's all the elite things. So I might be due for four elites. That's bad. Well, maxed out armor. Let's take that and then... Maybe I'll take the one that brings everything towards me. Oh, God. 
All right, all four elites. Great. I just want my Arcana. For better or for worse. Big skull. Yeah, you won't give me this. I don't know what I want just yet. I'm actually going to go plus three amount on the sword. There's a lot that buffs the sword, but I'll start with this one right now. Aw, oh, shh. I don't want this. Just get out of here. Toronto's box seems so far away. You know what? Toronto's box can wait until I've gotten the good stuff. Yeah, because I want to get to this question mark. I may not have time. And frankly, it may just teleport me to a new area anyway, where it doesn't even matter how much Torona's box I've gotten. Whoa! It's the Black Reaper. Oh, I'm trapped in the corner. <laughs> Fuck. All right, well, I have a ton of revives. Ooh, a treasure. Nice. I can level up the thing. Give me that good sword. All right. Don't trap me in the corner again. And maxed out Academy Badge. All right, so level up sword's pretty cool. I've got, like, a bunch of funny ninja dudes just kind of moving around like this. Ooh, got rid of some elites. Give me those eggs. Where did the Black Reaper go? I think I killed this. I think that's how I got the chest. I want slash. I want crits. And I want to double my overall crit damage. Okay. Now I can feel pretty good about going there. But first, one last Academy Badge, and I can level this up. Cool. I don't know what's best. Miter area. Amount is always best. And I'm not going to get a trillion level, so I'll just try to take the best one I can. I think I prioritize Might over Area. Area still seems good, but Might is better. Amount is better than both. Duration? I don't even know what that's for. I'll definitely prioritize Area over Duration, just because I understand that. Because it's like, it doesn't seem like the weird dashing samurai men or whatever have a duration. It kind of just seems like they go until they reach the edge of the screen. But they could definitely benefit from Area. Out, yes. Okay, I'm trying to make it to the question mark. Hopefully I can get there in time. You know, come to think about it, projectile speed might not be too bad. Yeah, I, I can see projectile speed being pretty good. Just make these dudes dash across the screen faster. Because honestly, I'm outrunning them, and it's, it's kind of sad. I, I guess I'm technically not outrunning them, but it takes a while for them to actually help me out. Like, it's especially noticeable when I change direction. It's like, if I'm going the same direction for a while, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, actually, are they just expiring? They might be expiring when they reach mid-screen. Okay, so I see how duration could help now. Maybe I will take duration over area then, just to see. Anyways, give me this, huh? All right, what do you do? What do you do? What's your secret? All this upgrading is about to not matter, huh? Oh, wait, no, the map is expanding. I previously could not go to the left. Oh, the, the thing has been lifted. Well, is there anything else out here? No other question marks, but I could make it to the, uh, this orb thing. Do I want it? It hurts my limit break a little bit. Honestly, I don't believe that taking this does anything. I think this was supposed to be the first time I was supposed to get it because I wasn't necessarily supposed to to take the um, arcana that brings all stage items to me, but I did. You know what I bet I'm supposed to find in here though? I bet I'm supposed to find another crystal. And, the, and that'll be the crystal that I have to unlock with Eleonora. And right now I just want to see if I can make it to um, the Torona's box from here. Oh, are you kidding me? Just a long hallway ending in a corner? What a bait. Right, keep going, Might. I think that's still the thing I prefer the most. This has to be a ton of XP, right? Yeah, go might. I would take duration over area. Damn it, at the... You know what? I even take duration over might. I was going to say, though, damn it, I don't see a way to the left at all. Even at the bottom, there's this impenetrable wall. Maybe I have to, like, go far right and then up and then around if I want to get to Toronto's box. Seeing this as the maze it is. Unless if there's, like, some sort of secret entrance through here. Um... I don't know, that, that seems very tedious to check. I don't think I'm going to keep bashing my head against every single possible nook in here in hopes that something reveals itself. I think I'll try to go back and around instead. Well, that was a ton of upgrades. Oh, I just created a freaking earthquake. Anyways, I made sure to take a duration a lot more often over might, and it seems that it has impacted things positively. My samurai are lasting longer, so that's a pretty nice uh, benefit. Maybe area could be good, uh, just because a lot of the stuff I have is AoE. 
But I don't care. I want to see big number with might. And damn it, I'm going to get it. But I'm going to keep taking duration for a little bit. Although they are making it to the edge of the screen in most directions. So I'm not sure. Let me see. If I hold left or right, do they make it all the way? They go not nearly all the way. If I'm going up and down, they definitely make it all the way. I just need a good left to right straight away. No, not quite. Close, though. Close. Hey, 25 minutes had weird screen effects last time. I see that it's doing it again this time. What's causing that? The Elite? I don't know. There's this weird skeleton with a pretty cool shield coming in. Actually, the art for these skeletons is really neat. I am quite the fan. I, I like the guy with the golden shield. I like the sky... Sky... I can't talk. Cyclops skeletons a lot. You know, I even like the, uh, like the lizard head skeletons, too. It's all cool. Oh, my God. Just made it back to the beginning. I got lost and ventured all the way to the beginning. Great. Well done. Big round of applause for Tyler. All right. Last minute. I've given up on Toronto's box, obviously. I'm just trying to see if I can survive. Right now, damage is looking pretty good. I see 100, 200, 500. And considering, like, a lot of the damage is stacked samurai men, which is a huge stack thanks to all the amounts I've taken, it's pretty good overall damage. I'm excited to see what the DPS turns out to be. I'll keep taking Mike for the helmet. Area, I admit, could be good just to, you know, improve the size of the dudes, but it kind of looks like the dudes have a certain amount of enemies they can hit. And it seems that that is being overwhelmed, so increasing their area doesn't sound like it'd do much. I unlocked a rotten ghoul. Oh, and a new character. What happens if I come back to this stage with uh, Eleanor? There's a question mark all the way to the left. I don't know if I can get there, but I definitely want to try. And I'm not limit breaking this one because I did it last time. And promptly got my ass kicked. I'm actually going to grab Clock Lancet since this character already will just give me the weapons I need. I don't need to actively take the things that evolve uh, my weapon. It's just a natural benefit of the character. And I will still upgrade my spell strings where I can. Kind of fun going Bible, though. It's not something I really get to do often. Like, if I had to pick my th favorite weapons, Rune Tracer is one of them. Bible's another one of them. Maybe, like, Pentagram, because, I don't know, Pentagram's pretty cool. It's tough to pick favorites, though. I mean, there's just so many unique and fun weapons. Give me that duplicator, huh? Yeah, I keep going on spell string. What happened? Oh, here we go. I got my weapon. Spell stream. So I imagine I got to go down first. I bet actually the area that I had to open the red gem to unlock, I bet that's permanently unlocked. You know what? I, I, I've noticed I have only blue weapons. So therefore, it's I, I feel like I'm required to take the magic wand. Just maximum blue. Blue character, blue freezy stuff, all blue weapons. Looking for spellbinder. Glad I found it. Even though it makes the Bible red and demonic. It is it is what it is. All right. 20 levels, got the third and final weapon. Just got to get all those up now. This run isn't really about trying to build the build. It's just about trying to find that secret. Okay, so apparently it is straight, straight up. But I imagine I need to get the union first. Uh, and here it is. In all its blue glory. What could happen after I get this one? Oh, I got the union. I didn't even realize that happened. Yeah, I guess they really do just come out of nowhere. Well, with that in mind, I'm pretty near the crystal. What secrets do you hold? M? Excuse me? I also took damage for some reason. Why did I take damage? Maybe I have to, like, kill something that I just can't see? It almost appears as there's a thing behind the crystal. It's not like I need to level this up further. Yeah, I stand here, I die. Maybe something happens when I revive? I had a bunch of revives to burn. I thought, why not try that out? Okay, one more try. 64, maybe that's something? No. Oh, wait, it happened this time. That was weird. What do you have for me? Well, whatever this creature is may summon, huh? Ah, uh, the screen is fixed, not around my character, but whatever this thing is. Its music is giving me chills. It's so weird to be the side character. I'm gonna keep shooting it. Maybe I'll try. Oh, 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 
What is happening? Oh god, okay. What are you? And why don't you take damage numbers? He is the focus of everything. What is happening? Did I get him? Ah! Who? Did I change? I'm healing him. No, I've become weak. I have no weapons. Where are my weapons? Give me back my weapons. Wait, no, I thought I picked it up. But give me my weapon? Oh no, it's doing nothing. Oh no. Oh no, this is terrible. No, 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 no. Oh. You know what? Give me a cross. Oh, and now I have a whip. Now I have a magic wand. Where? Oh, he's bigger. He's big, 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 big. Don't like it. Well, now at least I can deal damage. Let's go on whip. Every time it centers on him, it's so weird. Give me the prismatic missile. Maybe that's the secret. Yeah, more prismatic missiles. Freaking teleports every time I upgrade something. Get him, missiles. Freaking yeah. Oh, God, my weapons are all so weak. More missiles. What a weird fight. Actual boss fight time. I don't know if he's still getting bigger. Ooh, more prismatic missiles. I also can't tell if I'm taking damage. Just having no health bar? Terrifying. And another one. And this must be the only way to kill this f fiend. Survive long enough to get a prismatic missile to max. And here it comes. Yep, there it is. Ah, uh, don't get backed up. That's level 7. Now, I don't remember if this is a special weapon that has 9 upgrades. Most have 8, so I assume 8 is the max, but it might be a special one with 9. No, it has 8. Okay, I've maxed it. Now what? You gonna evolve for me? I have max crown, so it could. It could. Will it? It gave me a chest. This has to evolve it then. So, what can this do? The Luminaire. I don't know. Well, now what's gonna happen? Wait, what's this above me? It's a character up here? Yeah, there's like an angel or something guiding me. I must follow its call. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to take this back to the hole in which it came from. Nope, never mind. I could just kill it. I had better plans. I wanted to shove it in his hole. Wow. Okay. That is winning level. Fine. Bring me the green, uh, gray reaper. I don't care. Oh, the artifacts of the Bible are still here, huh? Maybe I can hide in its hole. Why am I a ghost? Where am I? I'm invisible. Ha, the reaper can't find me if I'm invisible. Rookie mistake. Nope. He still knows I'm here. Damn it. Thought it would work. Well, what the hell has just happened? I've unlocked the hyper mode for that map and Genevieve. Where else will this crazy rabbit hole go? Find out next time. I'm loving the secrets of this. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.